Hey everyone, Team UDF here for more ZQuest guide slash tutorial. I've been in a major ZQuest uh, mood lately, so we're going to do a third episode in the same recording session. I will get to all of the questions from the first two episodes, I hope you guys at least asked one, in the next recording session. So last time we had Link get the boomerang and walk into a trap. This time, he's going to come back in screen 64 here. But, here's a twist. Oh man, he's got creepy stalker statues waiting for him. What are these creepy stalker statues going to be used for? Well, we're going to go to flags. We're going to select, if I can find it, I don't remember which one it is. I think it's all the way down here, actually. Yep. 68. Boomerang 1, any. We're going to plant it right on that statue. So that means Link has to hit this statue with the boomerang in order to activate the secret in the room. Currently, we don't have secrets. We want one. Let's go pick one. Go to the flags here, secret combos. Flag 16 is going to be, oh, where is it, where is it? It's the regular one, I don't remember where the regular one is, what the heck? <laughs> Where'd you go, regular tile? There it is. And I'm losing track of everything. 47, I think I said that last episode too. So flag 16 is going to be the regular floor like in one of the other rooms. And now, let's go plant our 16s here and here. So that's right, when Link comes this way with the boomerang and hits this statue, he's going to open the bridge. However, currently, there's something else we have to do, because let's go back to secret combos. If you go to boomerang, you'll notice these things right here. Well, what this means is right now, if you trigger the boomerang uh, flag, it's going to turn black. So this statue is going to become a black tile. We don't really want that. So let's go ahead and ensure that doesn't happen. We're going to actually, if I can find it, I really hope I can. Uh, I'm going to have to double check. Was it this one? Let's see, 391 is maybe what we want. I know, I can't usually tell. So it's going to be because we want it We want it to become one of the spinny ones here. I think that's going to be it. So let's, let's take a look at that again. In slow motion now, okay. See, so yeah, a combo 391 here. We want to turn the boomerang trigger into a spinning statue and just for consistency because technically the player could come back later and hit the boomerang trigger with something else I like to just fill them all in with the same thing so that I know if the player happens to trigger this with a different level of boomerang it's not going to become a black tile and look all evil and bad and everything so that are the, that are the two things that will happen in here we're going to leave this key just there it doesn't need to be an enemies implies item or anything it can just be sitting there Link can only pick it up if he triggers the bridge from the boomerang. Then he can destroy the dark nuts and continue down to not that screen, but 74. And 74, we're actually going to abuse a similar gimmick. We're going to start landing these statues everywhere. Uh, not that far. This should do. We're going to cut off a pretty big chunk of the room here, so you might want to decorate it up a bit, maybe put some water around. Make it seem like there's kind of something going on in here. Actually, that looks kind of weird as well, but you know, whatever. We can, we can always fix this stuff later on. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some secret money waiting for Link, except it's not going to be secret money at all. It's just going to be money. Maybe a 20, or if you want to give him something else, you can go ahead and throw that in there. What we're going to do is we're going to have one of these statues activated by the boomerang, but not all of them. So pick the statue you want Link to be able to activate, maybe this one or something. So when Link hits that statue only with the boomerang, the secret will happen. And the secret we want is for Link to be able to get that money. So we've got to open a path here. So we're going to use 16 and we're going to use 17, actually, because we want to have our little spinning a spinning effect with the rest of the statues there. So let's go to tools, flags. We're going to open a path for Link with flag six, with a secret tile here and flag 16, maybe that one. And for the statue that you hit, or no, what am I doing? Actually, no, we can still make use of 17. Make all the other statues 17s. Let's say we want to have a spaz fest here, so they're all going to become spinning eye statues except the ones we change. Now, what did I miss? Well, I missed the boomerang trigger that I just stressed so much and completely forgot about in the span of one room. So we're going to do that again. 
And now Link gets at least a couple uses out of the boomerang. They're right after each other and everything, but you know, it's still there. Generally, when you get a dungeon item, you want at least one puzzle involving that dungeon item. So I don't know. So Link can get himself a couple easy 20 rupees that way. And there's the key that he could finally get, so he'll get the key relatively soon as well, and he can proceed to screen 75. All right, we're going to make a passage, and then uh, two shutters. Now, Team UDF, you've been doing this thing. You've got a shutter going up in 75, you've got, a sh you've got a door going down in 55, but there's no room in 65. Well, I think you realize by now there is going to be a room in 65. However, we're going to leave it off the map. Let's find our blank tiles, and we're just going to fill it in now because we want it to be one of those kind of secret room things. But we'll deal with 65 in just a bit. First, we're going to deal with 75. 75, I'm going to... Actually, you know what? Forget that first idea I had. I'm going to use a new one in this take. So someone had been asking me now. They want two shutter doors and one... Well, two locked doors in one room. They're going to have this puzzle. And they want the puzzle to only open one of the doors. Well, without custom tile sets, that's a little... And with the way shutter doors work in this, in the, in this initial tile set... That might be a little somewhat difficult to pull off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer at least one alternative. Uh, let's go ahead and put some stuff down here. And I think that'll do it, actually. Okay, so obviously, this door is now blocked off completely. You can only reach it if you have the ladder. Link doesn't have the ladder yet at this point. So what we're going to do... So we're going to go down to 66. There's our little block trigger. And there's our little block trigger. And then we have to make the blocks pushable. So let's see, this one will go right once, and the other one will go up once. And that's all. We're not going to do anything with these blocks. Because when Link comes in, he's going to push this block here, and that door will open. This door will also open, but Link will only be able to access one of the doors at a time. Now, since I can't give that person exactly what they want with this tile set, I'm going to suffice with this alternative. And if that person does want to see an example, like if you were do, to do a puzzle like one way and only one door opens, and you do the puzzle another way and this door opens, you know, I could show something like that but I don't think it'll go over too well with this particular tile set. So for now we're going to say, well, Link can unlock these doors, but he can only reach one of them at a time. It's really easy the first time because he doesn't have the ladder. He can't get over here anyway, but suppose he does have the ladder. Well, we're just going to create a couple little blockades then for him. So go to secret combos here. Yeah, this is from my other take. Don't worry about that. Let's just go to 17. You know, no, let's go to 16. I'll remain consistent with what you guys should be having. Okay, so we'll make our block, and now we're going to go ahead and put our flag 16s all around the place here. We're going to put them somewhat strategically. When Link pushes this block, he has to be over here. So, if we say put our blocks here, when the door, by the time the door is open, and the, by the time this block is pushed in, he can't possibly be over here, so we're going to block Link in here. Except when he comes back through, you know he can still escape because these blocks won't be here yet. However, this door won't be open either. I don't know, it's kind of... You have to really think about the point of something like this. Like, I, I do see the use for, let's do a puzzle. One way opens the door this way, the other way opens this door. You know, there are points to doing stuff like that. But for this particular room, this setup, this tile set, not really. So we're just kind of winging it a bit. But I am showing you that it's possible. And, you know, we can toss some enemies in here as well. You probably want some flying enemies because you're involving, uh... Well, you're involving places that Link can't initially go. Although the Stalfos we can just place where we want. So enemies 5, maybe up here. Enemy 6, probably in here somewhere. Okay, and one other thing we forgot in this room, we forgot the under combo. So let's go ahead and set that under combo. Okay, so Link is of course going to go up first, so he's going to go to that secret room thing that's off the map. Let's go ahead and build it. We can just use passageways for this. 
And what we're going to use now is a special room type. So we're going to go to data, room type. We're going to use a room type called feed the Goria. Now in this type of room, the Goria, a Goria is going to appear, but he will not move and he will not let you pass until he has some ham, or some bait as they call it in this game. So there is no catch all for this, but what you do want to make sure you've got is the guy, make the guy Goria, or whatever you want eating something. And you want to make a message string for it. So let's go ahead and make one. Thorg hungry! Thorg want eat! There you go. So let's go select our message string. Thorg hungry, Thorg want eat. Spot the reference. And actually that does it for this room. It's pretty much set up. But Link hasn't walked across any bait yet, so how's he going to get some? Well, we can get him some bait in one of one of a couple ways. We can just simply swap one of the items around the map we've got for some bait. Or we can toss the bait in a room that doesn't have an item already. Personally, since we've got this 20 rupees right here, I'm a little bit inclined to get rid of this 20 rupees down here. You guys can do it any way you want. So there's what our bait looks like. It's some really generically drawn uh, chicken, kind of, in a way, ham, like I was saying earlier. But yeah, that will suffice. And we give Link a chance to see it beforehand so, you know, he doesn't have to leave and go roaming around for it. He'll know it's here, but he just has to figure out that, hey, one of these statues can be hit by the boomerang, similar to this room up here. As for the other side of the room, Link is, of course, going to hit the ladder. This will let him walk over one tile of, like, a pit or water or something like that, so he could actually get back over here if he wanted, and he can come over here and get that magic container. He can now also cross this without having to use the boomerang, and he can come on here as well to get the boss key. Oh, but we're not going to give it to him that easily. And no, we're not. So let's start blocking stuff off. I'm just doing this for symmetry purposes. Literally, you could just leave that open if you wanted, but, you know, it doesn't matter. So we made tiles earlier. Let's make use out of them. Let's find the direct warp one, okay? That's right, Link is going to walk into another direct warp trap. We're going to lay them right in between the boss key so that he can't possibly run into it. And let's set our way back. We're going to actually have him appear back over here because what we're going to claim is that the boss key we've placed here is a fake boss key, bad boss key. Don't, do not want. Let's go to screen 83, copy this, and we'll paste it in 73. We're going to have another, like, trap battle room like we had in screen 53 over here. So since it's a direct warp, it doesn't matter where we have Link pop in. Like I said, though, you could try... You can mark it just so you remember. I think it was these two squares here. Seems to be. If not, that's okay. And now let's go ahead and make our epic battle room of epicness. Let's cut it off a bit, make Link use the ladder a little in here. Maybe even cut some down the middle. And that looks pretty good. You could have some shooters in here if you want, so we could place shooters in the corner. Nothing too overly crazy though, since it's the first level and all. So remember to make the, sh the shooters, you know, shoot. You want the each statue shoot fire from enemy flags. And let's see, what enemies can we give him? What enemies does Link want to fight in here? Maybe two keys. Let's see, let's look around for something we haven't used yet that could be manageable at this point in the game. Ooh, Ganon. No, stop it. Let's see, Manhandle is more of a boss monster. P-Hats are alright. They're kind of annoying, though. You have to run around and wait for them. Oh, Tektites. We're going to have Link fight some Tektites. We haven't used any Tektites yet. So let's throw a bunch of Tektites in here. And we do want an, another boss key in here, because Link is never going to be able to collect the boss key in 63. We're going to use that as a decoy. It's not going to actually be there. And let's throw the boss key, sure, why not, in this corner here. Go ahead and check off our enemies implies item. And we'll check an enemy implies secret as well. 
Because Link's got to be able to get out of here somehow in this crazy world that he's in. So we're going to lay a teleporter. No, 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 no. We're going to make it a secret combo, actually. My mistake. Let's go find that teleportation tile. Here it is. It is combo 200 even. And I hope it's a stair combo. Yeah, it is a stair combo. Okay, so let's set up our secret flag. This also kind of goes with the idea that someone wanted a trap. So when we did the boomerang, we had the player get the item first. With the boss key, we're doing it reverse. We're going to have the player think they're getting the boss key, but here they appear. Okay, so we've got our secret warps and everything set up. We've got our enemies ready to go. So let's go ahead and actually set up the warps. We've got our tile warp. Level 1. The screen below me is 73. So let's go there. Wait. If it didn't go there, why not? Oh, that's weird. I hope those aren't supposed to be side warps. I guess I'll check that after this. But Okay, tile warp. Oh, you know what? I didn't change the thing. That's why. Okay, so my mistake. All right. Yeah, I left it as a cave item, and that's why it wasn't working. And I'm still going to go with the impression that we want waves. You know, I am going to go check another another quest right now. So let me just... Let's go back to 63. Fix the tile warp. Man, I'm blanking out right now. I don't know why. Wave effects. And we're going to be changing a bunch of these if that's not exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and load that up, and I will be right back. Ah, scrolling. Okay, yeah, we're fine. It's, uh... It's zap effects for the Triforce, so wave effects should be fine for us. Alright, I think that's going to do it. Nothing else I particularly want to put in this room, really. It might be a little difficult for level 1, but you can, you know, swap out some statues or whatever. You feel like, as it is your dungeon as well. And then Link appears back in the middle of nowhere here. You know, if you want, you could put, like, our makeshift warp tiles here. You don't really have to, but yeah, it's kind of nice. It hints that something's going to go on, though, so you might want to leave them blank. Otherwise, the player may know something's up. But anyway, so now we're back over here. Also, one other thing I thought about here is we do want to put more of these blocks here. So that Link can't get back, so we'll say bridge out or something. There you go. Put up more of our 16s there. So now we're about done. Link is going to go to room 76. 66 and 67 and he's going to start fighting the boss so next time we're going to finish up the dungeon probably thanks for watching everyone remember questions if you have them and i will do them in the future so bye